everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber and today I'm going to show you how to use the inventory system to add and remove clothes in-game using emotes. Let's get started. If you're looking for more videos on animation, I have a few other in this series, so be sure to check out my channel and subscribe so you don't miss any of the new videos. For this to work, you're going to need the inventory system for VRC, which I have available for download on my website, so go ahead, pop over there. I'll put the link in the description. Once you have that downloaded and added to your project, come back to the video and we'll get started. Now, if you want to just add a mask or add a hat and have those come on and off, that's totally fine. You can do that just in Unity, but if you want to have the clothes totally off, you're going to have to make it in Blender. This is by no means an in-depth explanation of Blender, but I'm just going to show you what I've done. I created this model and then I made it so that it was weight painted with the clothes and the body underneath it which is kind of tricky, but I'll show you how to do that in a later video. But basically I have all of my pieces here and they're all joined together in one body, but I want to have my body and my outfit separated. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the body and I'm gonna use the Cats Blender plugin and I'm going to separate by materials. And what I'm gonna to wanna to do is join together my body materials and my outfit materials. I'm just going to go over here and shift select all of the objects that have to do anything with clothing. These are the things I'm going to want to take off with the inventory remapper. Then I click Ctrl or Command J to join them all and I rename it to clothing. Now I'm going to select everything else and deselect the clothing so that I can join these together separate from the clothing. And again that's Ctrl J. Make sure that your main avatar is still called body with a capital B so that all of your blend shapes and everything will work in Unity. And then you can just go to File, Export, FBX, and just export it as you would a normal FBX. As soon as you import your inventory system, a new tab will open up on your toolbar called Zeeks. Click on that, and from the dropdown, click on Tools, Inventory Remapper. This will open up a whole new tab for you. Drag your avatar from the hierarchy into this new window. Then select how many you want to use. In this case, I'm just using one because I only have one outfit. And drag that outfit into the item area and click Enable by default. Then click Generate Inventory. Then go back to your project and in your Assets folder, click on VRC Inventory System. Then click on Animations and click on the name of your avatar. Then click on Enable Animation and rename this to whatever you want. I chose to call it Outfit On. Then just drag this outfit on into one of your emote slots in your override controller. Then do the exact same thing for the disable animation. Once you're all done with that, you're good to go. Upload your avatar and check out your new emotes. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. There will be a part two of this coming out really soon where I go more in depth on inventory remapper. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, have a good one and thanks for watching.